They want to show it's not just Biden who's benefiting from foreign entanglements. <laughs> Donald Trump is receiving money from China and Qatar and all the other countries, and he is compromised. Let's pull up this article from Yahoo News. Yahoo News, by, by, by the way, is basically just a Marxist rag at this point. We all know that, don't we? Yahoo mm -hmm. News junk. Do we have yep. a rumble ran here? Oh, yeah. Yep, we got a new – yep, we got a rumble ran here. Tucker – 91 says keeping the streak alive with five dollars so appreciate that tucker yeah, thanks, tucker, tucker also said uh shooting sports should make a comeback or so i've heard trap shooting is becoming more popular with kids it yep. is and i love it mm -hmm. absolutely love it and we got another rumble ran people are people are uh, paying attention brad ganser says uh for ten dollars last year's legislation should have provided enough content for all of the content for season two of the truth hurts well that's fair, true fair point yeah, fair point, Brad. And thanks for joining us on the hundredth episode. That was fun, Brad. Brad yeah. hardly got a word in with uh, two. She, <laughs> yeah. she was interesting. <laughs> All right, so Democrats um, apparently were trying to investigate. I didn't even know this was happening. Did you know about this? No, this is back when they I were mean, in control. There's a million different investigations into Trump. So yeah, tell me something well, new, right? I know because this is the one that really didn't matter. Okay, yeah. So, so this is what they say: Donald Trump received money from foreign governments when he was in the, when he was in the white house this is this is literally hilarious okay so um they're alleging the he received 7.8 million dollars from corrupt and authoritarian governments including china saudi arabia and qatar or Qatar. i think it's Qatar. i've actually been to Qatar. i was learned it was Qatar when you're there but it seems like everyone on the earth wants to call it Qatar. Mm -hmm. what do you say do you ever I, say it? i i you say quater <laughs> no i Quater? don't know no i i think it's qatar but i i don't really know either yeah it's one of those things you know it's like when people say iran iran you know i think both of them work all right well i'm gonna say cutter because that's what i was told when i went there okay but by, by the way not that they're english speaking all yeah right, so I, i'm gonna scroll down here in the article yeah, and tucker says, 91 says what i had uh, told you earlier as well uh speaking of qatar uh bob menendez took uh qatar bribes which is true so uh, it's not just Egypt that our uh, U our U.S. senator from New Jersey is uh, sold out to. It's also uh, it's also Cutter here. All right, here you go. The limited documents obtained by the House Oversight Democrats show that Trump received. Get this, get this, right? This is how you know Donald Trump's compromise. He received seven point eight million dollars in foreign payments to his businesses during his presidency, according to the report. Seven point eight mil million dollars over four years, so under two million dollars to a multi-billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like Donald Trump is very <laughs> compromised. Now, didn't he divest himself from the businesses when he became president? Right. Yeah, and I think it was all given over to Don Jr. and Eric Trump. You know, it was all put under uh, his son's names while he was president because you can't be running a business while you're president. It's a conflict of interest. So, Which you understand. Uh, Everyone understands, and right. Donald Trump understood. I don't think he was fighting against it, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, just like anybody would do, you know, uh, in that situation. So... Uh, you know, Trump did the right thing, divested himself, like you said, hands the business over to his sons. Uh, so we're supposed to be mad at his sons for keeping the business profitable. We're supposed to be mad at them for uh, doing good deals. And, you know, uh, it's one of those things, you know, Trump has properties all over the world, hotels all over the world. Uh, those require maintenance. Those require employees. Those require different transactions. Sometimes you're buying property. Sometimes you're selling property. Of course, deals are going to be made. So uh, I don't know what they expected. I think they're mad at, you know, Trump simply for existing and for you know having a business that's you successful got to the point that yeah that's right existing that's exactly it yeah it's a crime to exist if you're a trump yeah you can't exist if you're trump mm -hmm. i mean this is all ridiculous it's the, they they say the committee confirmed a payment of nineteen thousand three hundred ninety dollars ninety one dollars from the chinese embassy to a trump hotel in washington we're just like that sounds like they rented out a room for yeah. a day mm -hmm. like they got the east hall right I mean, mm -hmm. that might not even be the going rate. It might be less than that, you know? So, mm -hmm. or I mean, more than that. So maybe 19,000 was, but like, this is the, this is the things they're drawing. First of all, Donald Trump's got a legitimate business. I mean, I don't, mm -hmm. is anyone questioning that? Well, I guess a judge in New York is because mm -hmm. uh, Mar-a-Lago is only worth like what? Two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's got legitimate business. Meanwhile, like there's no legitimate business to what Hunter Biden's doing and 10% for the big guy. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a fraud. Right. It's a joke, right? That, that's clearly selling influence. $2 million is nothing to a guy that runs a billion-dollar corporation, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, $2 million is everything when all you're doing is consulting. Mm -hmm. I would glad, like, $2 million is a big consulting fee I would ever yeah. charge, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what Hunter Biden does. So what a mm -hmm. joke. 
Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing because yeah, it's you know Trump is a billionaire; he can't be bought. Uh, you know, <laughs> so you know it's like yeah, there might be these deals, but is that corrupting him? No way, because like I said, he's a billionaire; he can't be bought, he can't be sold. Uh, so, uh, but like you're saying in the case of Hunter Biden, where that's his main revenue is you know doing these corrupt deals. Uh, it's everything to them. Well, uh, here's here's how you buy and sell a, a billionaire. You ready for it? Because mm-hmm. I think you got a good point. You get you get the goods on them. Mm-hmm. And that brings us in the Epstein client list, right? Yeah. Big story. Mm-hmm. Bill Gates being part of that crew. Like, what do you do to Bill Gates? Bill Gates was wealthiest guy on the planet, still top five wealthiest people. What mm-hmm. can you do to Bill Gates? Like, seriously, like the guy's got all the money in the world. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's a tough one. And, you know, I just seen another thing. RFK Jr. said that, uh, you know, he admitted that he had known Epstein. And he even said that I had my kids on his airplane with him. Uh, so apparently they've met, but he says he never went to the island or anything. Uh, I don't know all the full details of that, but, uh, all right, can we get